this is Priti and we are from Team Future Tastic. And now the topic we are going to talk to you about is something that most of us are freaking out about right now. Well, I was one of them a few weeks ago, but not anymore. So, what is coronavirus? Coronavirus or COVID-19 is an infectious disease. This is zoonotic, which means it's transmitted between animals and humans. Common signs of infections are fever, cough, cold, and breathing difficulties. In severe cases, this may lead to pneumonia, SARS, or severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. Old people, young children, and people with low immunity are more prone to be attacked by this virus. This first originated in Wuhan, China in late December 2019. This has killed over 8,200 people and has infected over 2,5,000 people. It has spread to at least 155 countries and territories. In the Hindu and Islamic religions, burning camphor, ghee and lobin has been followed for over ages and generations. Many of us just do it as some kind of daily basis ritual now. But we are not aware of the magic these things can do. When you burn camphor, ghee or lobin, C60 or carbon-60 is emitted. The scientific name for this is Buckminster Fellurian. It has 60 carbon atoms arranged like a soccer ball with a hollow space inside. Let's come to the part of solutions to prevent the virus. It has the ability of absorbing and destroying any toxic substance or virus present in the air. Basically, it cleanses the air and acts as a germicide. For example, do you guys remember the Bhopal gas leakage tragedy in 1984 by the Union Carbide Company? More than 15,000 people died and many of them fell sick. Only one family, the Kushwaha family, survived and was perfectly fine. Why and how? The reason was that they had a practice of performing Agni Hotra Yagnya in which pure ghee is burnt in the morning and night. On that particular day during the leakage, also they did Agni Hotra and Trayambako Momam in their home. After this puja, in less than 20 minutes, the environment inside and around their home was cleansed and they were safe from the toxic gas. To know more about the survival of this family, you can click on the link in the description box or search on the internet. We are not asking you guys to do yagnas and pujas every day. All we are asking is to light a small gay lamp or burn camphor daily. This doesn't take much effort and time, right? Burning lobin is equally good too. It clears your respiratory tract, cleanses the environment, gives your home a divine and refreshing smell and saves you from any kind of toxic substance. How can these three things get, get any better? It is more preferable to use Pache Karpuram or Poon Karpuram, also known as Pure Camphor, instead of the tablet ones as the pure ones show more beneficial impact. There are two ways to stay safe from this virus. The first one is keeping your environment safe and the second one is having a good immunity. We've already seen on how to keep your environment safe. Now the next part is boosting your immunity. The best way to improve your immunity is to take quarter spoon of turmeric powder and one pinch of pepper powder in melted desi ghee. For a normal person, 48 days, half an hour before a meal is good. But for an infected or sick person, not only coronavirus, but any kind of infection or sickness, take this three times a day, half an hour before a meal, till recovery period, and then continue to the completion of 48 days. Take vitamin C rich food, drink lukewarm water, eat hot meals, have veggie soups, and especially rasam as they speed up digestion. Avoid milk egg and anything cold as this slows down digestion. Eat herbs like tulsi and oregano and spices like pepper whenever you can. Have food that is bitter as it helps a lot in immunity and keeps you healthy. Avoid eating anything that contains white sugar. Instead, use jaggery as it's more healthy. When you take bath, add rock salt and turmeric to the water. This cleanses out any kind of toxin and germ off your body. Be a vegetarian as much as possible. As said, this disease is zoonotic, which means it is transmitted between animals and humans. Basically, non-veg meat. Let's turn this COVID-19 scenario into a GoVeg20. Please watch Dr. B.G. Raghavan's video, COVID-19 vs. GoVeg20 on YouTube. We have given the link underneath.
it is really worth watching and it is very important for all of us on knowing what should be done during this crucial covid period thank you for watching guys hope this video and dr raghavan's video helps you guys a lot during this period of time and the future please like and subscribe to our channel and most importantly share it to the people you know so that they can be aware of what's happening too